really if you want to scale i go back to one of the first points it is letting go and inherent to letting go is trusting the people to be able to take it forward with that automatically quality control will come in because it's human nature you don't want to let your friend down you don't mind doing it to someone you have a business transaction with you know if you don't know the person well but if that person is part of your family if that person is part of building the idea the person is not going to let you down so for me the principle is one word it's trust believe in the other person trust the other person and they will go on it's just that it's very simple nothing and of course then you have manuals which will say these are the core elements these are the non core elements but that's really just routine stuff the core is trust and ask my team and quote him on it i'll sit there and you can ask bram i'm not speaking to him you can ask him right here yeah move there bram that's the one key thing that i've learned in in working with jeru not just because she told me so but really because you know it's something that i've experienced um is that it's very common for people when they have an idea or when they join an organization to be uh thinking that they need to be in control and uh i obviously came in also thinking yeah we have this great concept you know i used to work at aflatoon at that time and uh i was like yeah this is the way in which it needs to be done um what i discovered was that uh when you trusted partners you know to actually take on the program and to actually make it theirs you would get incredible innovations you would get incredible ways in which they would push it forward way beyond what you would ever be able to do you know with your sort of international perspective and so on um so 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 that was a great learning i had on on trust um on the other hand of course there are certain limits um you need to have a certain minimal um agreement that you need to have with each other you know there's a partnership agreement the, the trust is of course you know has certain characteristics and and so you know i was also the person working on on quality assurance within uh, aflatoon we needed to make uh, you know sure that that partners had uh a certain paperwork and financials in order and all of that and of course there were a few examples where uh where we needed to have a very uh, hearty uh, you know conversation with uh, the partners and and in some cases we had to let them go um uh but at the same time i mean you know i i'd like to draw a parallel in human relations that's that's the same thing that 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 happens between people um you know you you work with each other on a trust basis and sometimes you know you you decide to go your own ways because you know at the fundamentals it 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 doesn't work together so um yeah that that's been my experience um uh, and and now at at child and youth finance international i find that same thing uh of course i'm a little bit more on the formal side of things i work on certification of child friendly uh financial products and so we need to draw you know certain standards but at the same time we do build you know a trust based longer relationship with um uh, our stakeholders and and many among them are our banks and and we find that there's a a large motivation a big motivation with them to actually take this forward now um uh, whether uh, at this point in time they are able to get that certificate uh you know that's that's one thing what is important is that we notice that there is the motivation and we build on that and then at some point in time the certificate may come so so that's i guess sort of my translation of that whole trust uh story